Um, in this video, we will create this and polygon for this catchment uh, being based on the rainfall stations that you can see on the screen. There are about um, seven rainfall stations out of which four are within the catchment while rest of the rainfall stations are outside the catchment. Um, okay, to create the Thiessen polygon or Voronoi polygon, go to vector and geometry tools and click on Voronoi polygons. Uh, select your rainfall stations as an input layer. The next important thing that we need to know is about this buffer region or percentages of extent and I'll tell you later about this. Uh, but first let's run it now let's have a look at our polygon the problem with this polygon is that it doesn't include all of the catchment that it was supposed to cover uh, some of the catchment right here and at the bottom aren't covered within the polygon polygon okay, first um, okay, let's, let me change the symbology properties um, Uh, okay, now I'll tell you about the buffer region. With zero as percentage of extent given, it didn't include all of the buffer. Uh, I'm sorry, it didn't include all of the catchment area. So let's extend the extent of this Voronoi polygon. Uh, let's increase its extent by about 10%. Um, I guess it will cover all of the catchment region. 10 now let's run it okay after increasing the extent uh, by about 10 percent it covered all of our catchment region so that's what buffer region was about it uh, it increased the extent of the polygon um okay red Okay, previously the extent of Voronoi polygon was limited within this black line. Now the extent has increased up to uh, this red limit or red margin. So when you provide buffer region, you need to include, uh, you need to provide a certain value in such a way that it includes all of the catchment region. Let's rename this as Voronoi Polygons 10 because we give the buffer region of 10% for the Voronoi Polygon. Okay, so now uh, we need to intersect our catchment region with this Voronoi Polygon. Go to Vector, Geo Processing Tools, and then click on Intersection. Input layer Catchment, Overlay layer Voronoi. Let's run this. so this is our result uh, okay now let's calculate the total area of catchment area in square kilometer units I'll copy the area of total catchment now let's calculate the area of each polygon in a catchment area area square kilometer
so the largest area is this one that covers about one third of total area and the smallest one is this one that covers about 80 square kilometers of a catchment no okay no this this one is the smallest one now let's calculate what percentage of this polygon belongs to the catchment Total area was three five nine two. Okay, so this is how you calculate the percentage of each polygons. Okay, so this is how you create Thiessen polygon or Voronoi polygon in QGIS. Thank you for watching.